Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So I'm here to do a new tutorial video for the Autoblog iframe extension plugin which uses iframes to embed directly in your page the websites that you are importing with other autoblogging plugins. So it is really cool feature to have and let me show you another way of using it. So you can add multiple iframes into the single page if you do this trick that I will show you. So this uh, tweak can be done only manually. So you can create right now only manual posts that uh, will have this uh, feature. So multiple iframes in a single page can be added only manually. But let me show you how to do it. The plugin is already configured and installed. If you want to sh check how to configure and install the plugin, you should check the original tutorial video for this plugin. But right now, let's go ahead and check how to embed multiple iframes into a single page. So let's go ahead and create a new post. This post will contain the multiple iframes that we embed. So let's give it a title. And let's enter some content the content will not be shown so it is not uh, so important only title and featured image will be shown for this type of uh, iframe posts and now we must enter the custom fields that uh, the plugin will use to get the urls that we wish to show so if you don't know how to show this custom field you should go ahead and check here in the options field and check the custom fields and click apply. So you should check this and click the enable and reload button because when you will check it, the button will be different. Okay, so now let me go ahead and show you how to use multiple live frames. And for this, we need to create the custom field name iframe one underscore post underscore url so this is the custom field name that we must use copy the website address that you wish to embed paste it here click add custom field and now add another custom field iframe two underscore post url and copy the second url that you wish to use go back and paste it here don't forget to click also add custom field now and all you have to do is publish the post and go to your test site so we have here the post and here are the iframes that are loading so we clicked on the post and as you can see this is the first iframe iframe that is showing so if we scroll it down it goes right until here and this is the second iframe that we are showing and it goes right until here to have a better user experience i recommend using a full screen of white pages so if you use full screen pages that you will have a better user experience when you are using iframes so yeah so post attributes or post templates should be selected full width layout and if we update the page we will see that Uh, so sorry, the page that contains the shortcode should be set to full page layout. So this is the page that contains the shortcode. So this must be set to full page width layout. And if we update this, our test block will look much better. So if we check it now, as you can see, it is full width now and the iframes are showing much better because they have more space on our page so yeah this is all for this tutorial don't forget you can use unlimited number of iframes and simply number them one two three and so on and the plugin will use them and embed all iframes in your page 
instead of showing the post that you just created okay so this is all for now don't forget to subscribe to this channel i will link uh in this video description the autoblog iframe extension plugin so you can check it and until next time don't forget to also hit the bell notification because i release new videos each day at 8 p.m gnt and yeah this is all have a great day bye bye